There's a lot of buzz about the Kingsong S20, the eye candy suspension electric unicycle that looks like it came straight out of a Michael Bay movie. But in this video, we're going to check out the Anti-S20, an electric unicycle that could care less about looks and scoffs at suspension, instead opting for incredible range and power. What's up guys, Jimmy Chang here with Andrew and in this box from Yuko, we have the Gotway Commander. Or is it the Bugotti Commander? The, no, it's not Bugotti, it's the... Extreme Bull Commander? Extreme Bull Commander. Who knows? <laughs> They've gone through so many name changes, there's so many divisions, I don't even know. In this video, we're gonna unbox the Commander, we're gonna set it up, and we're gonna take it for a spin. So let's get going. Ooh, wow, hopefully we don't break this table. We read the comments, okay guys? And in the comments, in some of my last videos, that Abrams video, where you guys saw me struggling to get the electric unicycle out of the box. <laughs> You guys said that I should be opening from the bottom. We don't want to damage the box too much because this is going to be going to Chooch next. Stay tuned for another episode of Chooch and Chang. Is this the top? <laughs> so I tried to open this upside down to do what you guys on YouTube in the comments said to do. Lo and behold, the bottom looks like it's the top. Is this the top? Yep, it's it the is top. the top. Wow. Okay, but well we can still do it. We can still do it. Can we still do it? Yeah. It's gonna end up being upside down. It might fall over. Yeah, here. Yep, there you go. It's the same unit that they've been using out in Vegas. A street tire has been put on this by the great La Laxina. Uh, if you haven't seen La make eggs while riding his electric unicycle, you gotta watch that video. We didn't get the commander. We got the Onander. <laughs> Quick impressions on this wheel. It's been broken in. Everyone loves opening something and getting that brand new feel and being able to pull off the plastic and just really enjoy it that way. But there are benefits to having a wheel that's been broken in. They've tested the electronics. The chances of this cutting out or having some catastrophic electrical failure or mechanical failure becomes much lower. Labeling here looks a little cheap and is already coming off. I'm just rubbing my fingers on it and the sticker's already coming off. It's kind of sharp too. These are the stock pads that you can see here. They're labeled Commander. And then some of these special pads that Law likes to put onto his wheels. I rode this wheel in Vegas about two months ago and they were saying that this is a new pad that they're developing. And take a look at these foot pedals. They look big. Um, it's got that honeycomb look. It's open, which seems to be the trend for 2022. We haven't seen grip tape on pedals recently. These are like bumps. They're not very sharp. They're not adjustable. And when they do wear down, you're just going to either have to put on your own grip tape or uh, replace the pedals. So you got speakers in the back. People that you pass on the trails and on the roads, they'll be able to hear your music really well. I mean, ideally, the speakers, uh, it's for protection so people are aware that you're around. It's also so you can enjoy your music. Front facing speakers, even side facing speakers or upward facing speakers. Basically any direction besides <laughs> rear facing speakers. I'm not sure what the thinking is behind here. Let's continue from the top. You've got this little button here for the trolley handle and it does not seem to be functional. <laughs> I bet you it's because this screw is loose here, and I'm sure this screw is rubbing against some gasket, causing it to not be able to come out. We're gonna screw it in, so it should close better now, with a nice satisfying click. The handle itself is not super tall, and this button keeps getting all messed up, like every time. You've got two charging ports. There is no USB charging for devices or for your phone, uh, which is a little bit of a shame since it comes with such a big battery. And then we have the screen here. So it's red, it's bright, and uh, it looks like something from Back to the Future. <laughs> Not when they go into the future, when they go back to the past. <laughs> Abrams' screen looked like it was from the 90s. This looks like it's from the 80s. And I know because I am old enough to remember the 80s. This is a weak excuse for a taillight. It's not bright at all. This is way too dark. And for people that like to ride in the, uh, at night or in dim conditions, this isn't going to cut it. Back here, there should be a fender. The fender, as far as I can see, did not come with this model. Maybe it came off somewhere. So these lights are not adjustable, so you can't adjust the height. 
<laughs> so that's the, the light there. The plastic feels nice. It's more durable. It feels more solid than the old school Gotway wheels, which was like a cheap plastic. I just don't like these seams here. It's uh, also pretty, pretty harsh, pretty abrasive. It's like a translucent plastic. It's smoky. You have these LEDs underneath that you can kind of see, but not very well. I don't know. Can you see those? But it's, it reminds me of the InMotion V12, the, the, that shell and the lights in there. The sides on this, they're, they're more flat and featureless, which is great for putting on pads. Whereas the Abrams had a bunch of branding and a bunch of embossed logoing and lettering, which could make it more difficult to put on custom pads. There's no kill switch, so I'm not gonna pick it up without turning it off first. So let's turn it off. So lifting this up, this is hefty. These handles are so hard and sharp. Basically full charge and let's just do a free little sp spin test. That screen is terrible. Yeah, it's tough to read even in the dark. 78. 78 was the number I got. Yeah, so that's a comfortable, comfortable yeah. uh, trolley handle. Let's connect this to the app. Um, this is like one of my favorite songs too. And it's not necessarily the tune, it's the message. All right, you don't have to be tough all the time. I need something that YouTube won't bust me on when I play the music. So it's definitely not as loud when the speakers are not facing you. And I do appreciate EUCs that do come with speakers. I know you could always bring your own speaker. When I was riding the veteran Abrams around, oftentimes I'd sneak up to people on the sidewalks um, or on the trails and they wouldn't even know I was there. And I couldn't go around them because there was just so much snow everywhere. Um, luckily I had a little finger dinger and uh, I was able to use the finger dinger to, to alert them. But having a speaker would be nice on that wheel. And it's certainly nice on this wheel. Just wish it faced forward. The Commander comes with a knobby tire, but I will say this street tire that the folks at Yuko put on this wheel felt very comfortable and natural. At first glance, the Commander looks like a clone of the popular Veteran Sherman. And even teardowns have shown Veteran inspiration on the inside. But upon closer inspection, the Commander has Gotway fingerprints all over it. Some good and some bad. While the Commander won't win any beauty contests, the ride, feel, power, and range will definitely win over long distance enthusiasts. The Commander rides like a high end Gotway, balanced and powerful. The huge 3,600 watt battery paired with the 2,800 watt motor driving a 20 inch tire gives the Commander more speed and range than my neighbor's Nissan Electric Leaf. With the same battery size as the Monster Pro at 3,600 watt hours, but in a smaller package, the Commander is steady as she goes, and she can go a long, long way. Longer than any other EUC that we've ever seen before. Oh yeah, and no one mentioned the tilt angle. Let's talk about the tilt angle. I mean, it's still, the pedal's hitting the ground and it's still not going off. So right there, that's when it tilts. There's like cars on all the sidewalks. Oh, pedal clip. The huge battery and powerful motor make the Commander a force to be reckoned with. But, and that's a big but, there are some disappointing design choices that I just can't wrap my brain around. Things that I don't like about it, it's like a carbon copy of the Sherman. They took the industrial, militaristic looks, they copied that, but then they left out the best part, which is the roll bar. Not a big fan of the pedals when we were out on the ice and it was wet. It got pretty darn slippery. And then this is wobbly too. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. The other thing too is the light. The lights suck on it. On the you're riding and braking it's red and it's it's a little brighter still not that bright and so that is the light for the commander there's only two options you either have light on or flash mode and then as opposed to the in motion v12 
So this is the low beam, which is still higher than the commander regular beam. High beam is higher, and then that's both of them together. The headlight and taillight are embarrassingly weak. Also, there's no USB to charge my peripherals. What a shame when there's such a big battery. The rear speakers? Who designed that? The sharp handles? Crappy small display screen? The bland look? Some people won't like this, but personally, I do like having a blank slate so I can accessorize how I like. Let's well, test the scale here. While the snow does fall right through, it gets really slippery when wet. And the spikes, they're just not aggressive enough. The EUC is heavy though. It's pretty heavy, so we're just gonna oh. roll it up here. This is how we get it up the stairs. We also have to mention that the internal fan is loud. Not as loud as some of the other Gotwe wheels, but you can definitely hear it. It's like 40, maybe colder than that, 40 degrees. It's cold out, yet the fan keeps turning on and I don't feel like we're pushing it that hard. From my perspective up here, I'm holding it near my head and I'm gonna go lower. So that's a pretty loud fan. The other issue is the small charger. For a 3,600 watt hour battery charging from a 3 amp charger, by the time you charge this wheel from zero to full, two new Gotway wheels will have been announced. And finally, my last complaint about this wheel, it's pretty darn expensive. Is this wheel that much better that it warrants the increase in cost over something, say, the EXN? Let me know in the comments below. The list of things that I love about this wheel is shorter, but possibly more important, because after all, the most important thing about the wheel is the ride quality. The stopping power on this thing is pretty amazing, especially compared to my V12. It's uh, super smooth, no wobbles, and I can stop hard without any problems. And the accelerating power on this thing. So here we go. The things that I love, great torque. I love the torque and balance on this wheel. It's got the power for me to be able to go backwards. Almost as easy to ride backwards and pendulum as the M10-3 because number one, the torque and the power, and number two, the nice balance on this. A lot of fun. Next, the range. I'm not a marathon rider, but for those of you who are, there is no other wheel on the market right now that will go farther than the Commander. Also, the great balance and stability. This balanced wheel allows me to go fast without even knowing it. And I hardly ever have troubles from speed wobbles. And finally, the other thing that I love about this is the traditional motor. It's proven tech and hopefully will lead to better water resistance. If you're enjoying this video, give us a like and consider subscribing. We'd really appreciate it. So what are the things that you like about it? Oh, it's awesome that it's got high torque. I love just how much power I'm able to just lean into it and instant power. This road's bumpy, but you can really accelerate into it. Easy to stop. Yeah, you don't get that wobbly feeling that you yeah. get with some EUCs when you go to stop fast. At speed, it, it feels like a very well-balanced machine. I feel very steady on it. I feel very safe. Who should get this wheel? The extreme EUC enthusiast who loves to go fast and far and who could care less what the outside of the wheel looks like because he or she will be covering it up with Velcro, tape, and pads anyway. The Commander is the anti-S20. While both are 20-inch wheels, the Commander is everything that the S20 is not. The Commander has no suspension, it's not flashy, it's not pretty, but it will win over some riders in terms of ride performance, range, and power. We're gonna turn on our lights so we can try to ride home before it gets too dark. Check out our written review at eucguide.com. Thanks for watching, and when you guys ride, wear your safety gear.